Hello and welcome to a sunny wildcat sanctuary. Well, I am neither Tammy nor is this a wildcat wrap up as we are typically accustomed to receiving on Thursdays, but rightfully so, Tammy is taking a break this Thursday because she's feeling a little under the weather. Uh, so Tammy uh, is <laughs> kind of out of a voice and a little under the weather, so rightfully so, she is taking a break this week. Uh, but nonetheless, Olivia and I are here to do a sanctuary stroll. Uh, and truth to tell, not much to kind of update. We'll do uh, maybe a little bit of quote unquote wrapping up, but uh, ultimately treat it more like a sanctuary stroll and, and kind of wish Tammy well and hope she's feeling better and uh, glad that she kind of gets to take it easy when she definitely needs it. But hello and welcome everyone. Simon and Jeremy are bouncing around their free roaming habitat as it was just cleaned. They're having their pool filled uh, as well as some enrichment place for them. Olivia, it's feeling summer-like today. It what's is. What's the temp today? I, I think it's 75 is the high, so it's somewhere yeah, around there. I even say maybe even getting closer to the 80s. 80s. I saw 77, 78 in some places. Okay. So feeling uh, summery here, and, and uh, of course, we're responding uh, with summer activities for the cats. Pools filling up, bloodsickles being placed. Uh, the sweet sound, Olivia, what's the sound we kind of hear echoing around, <laughs> around the sanctuary? Yes. Mowers are quite active right now. It's been raining, lions and tigers, and that means the grass is growing leaps and bounds, and we're catching up with it. Thank you, AmeriCorps, for helping us do that, our interns and staff members. I think every riding lawnmower shadow, every weed whipper, every pushing mower is... Uh, in occupancy right now yes. as uh, it is time to get a hold of the major, major growth we've had here the past week or so. So welcome everyone. We'll go catch up uh, with Mr. Jeremy here, kind of scoping the habitat. And uh, we were literally bouncing around. I laughed when you said that, Judson, because yeah. Simon was truly bouncing from place to place. You know, he's, uh, I gotta admit, he went in his uh, kind of double dipping and is licking on both blood sickles right now. Big patented stinky face from rescued white tiger Jeremy here. And the stinky face, Olivia, we see that so often here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. We kind of have a nickname for it, but what is the stinky face? Well, what you know, what formal, is that? What's happening? Formal name would be phlegm and response. And what's happening is a lot of animals but felines included have an organ up towards the top of their mouth called jacobson's organ and it's just another olfactory organ which means it's used for smell and taking in different kinds of scents it can even be for hormonal scents or just different stinky things which is why we give it the name stinky face but what you're seeing Jeremy doing is activating that organ at the top of his mouth. And you'll even see it with your domestic cats and dogs at home if they're parting their mouth slightly after smelling something, or if they're if you take your dog for a walk and they're kind of opening their mouth but not panting, that's usually phlegm in response. Yeah, that's one thing that I always like describing. It's never really as exaggerated as you might see our cats here, but I can only imagine Shadow, I'll take off my shoes after a long day of work, and my cat, not to be too graphic, will love smelling, <laughs> love smelling my stinky feet, and will give one of those cute little kind of parting her little lips uh, and giving a stinky face there. Yeah, it's pretty cute if you catch it. That's your at-home stinky face. Yeah. Well, we're starting to get some people join in, so let's say hi to the folks, Miss Shadow and Miss Olivia. Let's see who's joining in. Faith Warner tagging uh, our faithful followers to join on this live. Thank you for that, Faith. Daria getting excited about seeing uh, Mr. Handsome Jeremy. Hello, pretty lady. Uh, Handsome Jeremy and Simon, too, of course. Shadow making her cameo appearance. Looks like we're exchanging some weather reports. It's hot down in Florida for Kathy. To be expected, but 90s, yowzer, wow. at the end of May. That is hot, hot, hot. Jeremy's here. What's going on, Jeremy? Sherry Donaldson, glad to have you on a live with us. I know you enjoy tuning in on the live posts here. Shadow, uh, maybe kind of doing her own version of uh, landscaping. I was about to say our TWS landscape. Yeah, we, right know, here. we know Shadow to be a, uh, well, uh, you know, who can blame her, Olivia? Because what's right across the way is uh, the uh, Memorial Pavilion, where our garden team puts in a lot of work beautifying uh, that space, a really wonderful space we know where we get to honor our late rescues and for it to be 
accented and, and kind of framed in that beautiful garden. Well, Shadow, she has a green, she has a green thumb, rightfully so, because she's often supervising. Well, so I think is she, knows. she taking notes from them, or are they taking notes from her, oh, Judson? That's Shadow, the question. I think the shoe might be on the other foot yeah. here. <laughs> well, I keep saying hi to some folks. Marcy Sanborn, good afternoon. Saying hi to myself and Olivia. Yay, your conference is finally over, and you can catch up. Awesome. <laughs> yep, yeah, but no one can complain about a paid trip to Mystic, Connecticut. That's a really cool name. Connecticut cool is a, certainly a beautiful state. Definitely a compact state, but a lot of beauty to offer. So lucky you, Marcy. Speaking of beauty, Judson, I think this is kind of cool. It's mixing up our fauna a little bit with flora. Okay, These help me flowers out here. Yeah. The habitat. I noticed them when I was hiking a few weeks ago on a trail kind of near here. Is it I a lily? It is a lily. I didn't see the flower at the time. I just saw the leaves, but it's a lily, which I thought was really, really cool and pretty. And I've been seeing them pop up in the habitats. Well, that's really awesome. And I, and I just love uh, the type of space that your support affords our rescues. We call it natural. We call it free roaming. Uh, certainly as as uh, you can probably hear in the background, I've been talking. We do obviously uh, maintain the habitats for a you know to a certain extent. A cat like Shadow is still given plenty of opportunities to get out of Dodge and hang out in the tall grass or the thick foliage. But she's off obviously too has got plenty of weed whipped and mowed pathway pathways for her as well. But she's just rumping around. Yeah. What are the two boys doing behind us here? Speaking of romping. They're still kind of puzzling out uh, some blood sickles here. But I will kind of reintroduce myself and uh, welcome everyone to this live post. Today's Thursday at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Typically, we're accustomed to hearing Wildcat wrap-ups from uh, the executive director, Tammy Thies. And Tammy is feeling a little under the weather today. The soldier she is, she's here on site and kicking butt for the cats, but she has lost her voice. So I'm hoping uh, everyone can send some well wishes to Tammy as well as be uh, pretty understanding as to why she's uh, bowing out of her wildcat wrap up today. I don't blame her. And uh, truthfully, news is kind of more the same. A lot of cat, uh, or rather a lot of construction for Catio Town, construction in Sushi's habitat. Um, but as always, we can look forward to a detailed wildcat wrap up next week from her yeah but like you said it's not a bad day to swap out the wrap up for a stroll it's beautiful outside there's not too many updates so i'm not complaining i'm sure you aren't either judson yeah that's right and in olivia we're uh, we came armed and i say that because uh, oftentimes we have items on our <laughs> wish list oh <laughs> and right here olivia says i look like a dad but i have a uh, little uh, kind of attached to my belt, uh, it's a little mosquito repellent, and uh, that was purchased off our wish list. I always like pointing out uh, the human items that you all help us yes. with. Oftentimes, it's cat items, and we know how important it is to knock off cat items on that wish list, but the fact that you all are also thinking about the people caring for the cats when shopping those wish lists, I always want to acknowledge that Miss Shadow. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So yes, I might have been teasing you that you look like a dad, Judson, but it's very practical at the end of the day and we appreciate all those human goodies like you just said. Yeah, I do. And and uh, I'll tell you what, I've been getting eaten alive, Olivia, and have been uh, very happy to have a little bit of a reprieve today. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I can only imagine bug spray is going to be another thing <laughs> popping up on our wish list. I was kind of talking to our caretakers about the supply that we have, and it is dwindling. So that's a, another thing we can look forward to your support on. So thank you, thank you, thank you. The boys are doing uh, certainly an activity that they love doing, uh, kind of circling Pandora. Rescue Tigers Pandora living across the way, that uh, beautiful dame over there. Uh, Pandora loves uh, when she has... Uh, Two handsome tiger boys doting on her like Jeremy and Simon carve out uh, plenty of time throughout the day to do so. But it looks like Simon, he says, I'm cruising. I'm looking for blood sickles. Jeremy, you make sure that Miss Pandora is enjoying herself. So a little distribution of duties here. Let's see what's happening. Sissy asking, summertime is coming. 
Uh, have you guys, uh, are you guys going to have a barbecue uh, party with the cats? Oh, you know, that'd be really fun. That'd That's one fun. thing that uh, I would love to do is kind of bow out uh, a little early and maybe do a little barbecue out here in the yeah. Memorial Pavilion for the staff and interns. We Sissy. talked about that, Judson. So maybe Sissy's comment is the sign. I it know. Needs to maybe happen. this is what will kind of uh, kickstart that because you bet that we always love kind of connecting on that community level here. We're certainly a close knit group here at the Wildcat Sanctuary, but there's a lot. A lot to get done here in an eight hour day. And uh, so you can't blame us for keeping our noses to the grindstone, but taking a moment to breathe and doing it over some, some grilled food sounds like an excellent idea. Let's see. Lisa Kennemore getting excited about finally catching a live. Glad you've got the bug repellent Judson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those blood suckers are pesky and I agree, uh, but glad to have you with us. you're saying you got here late. Uh, go back and watch from the beginning. We're actually just about to kind of get our wings here, Lisa. We've been hanging out with Shadow. We've been hanging out with Jeremy. Jeremy and Simon are kind of cruising their habitat. They had some blood sickles placed. Shadow has just been so kind to just grace us with her presence as she enjoys her afternoon. You know, Judson, earlier this week, or was it last week, you caught Shazam on a live sawing. We've talked about it a couple times on the lives. This morning I came over here to hang out with Shadow, went across the sanctuary, and as my back was turned to her, I was probably over by Leo and Monza, I heard her sawing. And I was so disappointed. I thought I was gonna catch it today. Shadow's the sawer. She is the sawer. Shadow, Shadow's the lumberjack of the two leopards that we have here. <laughs> the gardener, uh, the landscaper, the lumberjack. The lumberjack. I, you know, the, the, the leopard sawing, as we talk about the kind of unique vocalizations, many of our rescues have hearing Shazam's last week, but Shadow has always been a big sawer, and shame on me, Olivia, I have tried and tried to catch that, but it's one of those things where maybe the lion roaring that happens, they're maybe a lot less shy about doing it in front of you. I've never really seen Shadow voluntarily vocalize in front of me, so. Me either, and I think that's probably because the point of sawing is a call, whereas our lions are chatty. They like to talk to each other. It's more of a social thing. I think Shadow likes to do it when she's hungry, when she wants her caretakers to come quicker with food. So it makes sense that she's not doing it in front of people if she's asking for people while she's doing it. Yeah, that's right. That's right, pretty lady. Oh, and you are so pretty. Well, let's see here, Olivia. The post is young. Let's maybe cruise around for a little bit. Perhaps uh, checking in on Sophie as she's getting some sun on her platform would be fun. And Jeremy and Simon, this is also worth pointing out, Olivia, is that they had their pool. Uh, maybe not had it filled, but it is filling. Jeremy and Simon uh, are lucky to have uh, one of the largest in-ground pools that we have on site. And uh, that pool will be completely topped off in about three or four hours from now. So lots of, uh, lots of water to be filled. That was one of the things that we were driving towards during Miracle Match this past, uh, this past early spring would have been uh, you helping us cover the cost of uh, kind of moving all the water throughout the sanctuary and the electrical that it takes to pump water into these pools and then out of these pools when we're kind of draining them sometimes on a weekly basis with dirty tigers Very splashing dirty around. Tigers, yes. well, let's see here. We'll kind of very gently go and visit with uh, Lioness Sophia over here. Olivia, I think that sounds fun. And, yeah. and Aurora and Alana, maybe we'll go in the alleyway and Aurora and Alana are in a great spot for us to say hi as well. Sophie's getting a good tan right now. Yeah, you bet she is. Where's, I don't see where's Gino. Mr. Gino? He must be uh, maybe catching some catching some Z's inside. Maybe. Yeah. But welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're just joining us, everyone, it really is a lovely Thursday here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. Got to visit with Simon and Jeremy. We've got to visit with uh, the lovely Leopard Shadow. And now I think it's a little lion time. We'll say hi to Aurora and Alana. Going off I was going to say, Judson. Olivia, I don't blame you if you want to take the bridge, but I'm going. There's a little path cleared here. Today. Exactly. There we go. All right. <laughs> We're already being stopped uh, by a exactly. couple of lions. <laughs> 
Now, who's who from here, Judson? That's okay. A okay. Question. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna just get a little better of an angle. I apologize for that, everyone. I am going to say we have Aurora on the left and Alana on the right, Olivia. That's my vote as well. I can see a little bit more of a rounded top to Aurora's head. Uh, and I know maybe it's just a bias that I have, but I also, th I feel that the line on the left is a little lighter in color. Okay. And, uh, and bless Aurora's heart, but her, her eyes are a little bit unique. And yes. both of these gals, um, we love them so, um, but a lot of kind of the shape of their skull, how their eyes are, uh, set on their head, as well as them being cross-eyed. There's a lot of indications, uh, that these girls were, uh, inbred. And so, though I love them so, I can always kind of tell Aurora by her unique eyes as well, Olivia. That's what I'm thinking too. It's it's kind of hard to place or say a specific feature about her eyes that make them seem that way, but that's what I keyed in on as well. Yes, yep. Yeah. Let's see, Ellen Car Carlson, I wanted to say hi to you and I know you're excited to see your two beautiful sponsor girls. Uh, Miss Alana and Aurora, thank you for taking both of these two rowdy sisters under your uh, sponsor wing. That's uh, big stuff, Ellen, Very so generous. thank you. Thank you. Let's see if we can get a better look at these two pretty gals. And thank you, Lisa Parker, for maybe helping remind some others who are tuning in that uh, maybe they're missing out on their Wildcat wrap-up. They haven't missed it, uh, and I hope that they're going to send Tammy their well wishes. She's feeling a little under the weather today. She's out of a voice, and so uh, who could blame her? That would be pretty hard to pull off a, a 30 minute live post where she is talking herself. So next week when we can look forward to our Wildcat wrap-ups, I'm sure Tammy will be well by then. Well, your guess was right, Judson. Mm -hmm. Correct. So it'd be Aurora. A little on more top. rounded top to yeah. Aurora's head, I feel. Some of the wrinkles almost are maybe a little bit more pronounced as well. Alana is a little bit blockier to me in the head. Not too bad. And these gals are looking beautiful as ever, Olivia. Yes, they are. And Alana and Aurora, you know, kind of relatively speaking, um, you know, there, this move probably happened, what, maybe oh, a month or so ago? More than that. I think it's okay, been... Okay, time is fine. Well, uh, it's been about three months. Actually. Three months? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, well, how about this? So they've been here for three months. What are some of their kind of favorite hangout spots for these two gals in this, I'll, I'll still say it, a relatively new it, habitat It is relatively them. new. I'd say definitely that platform over there is going to be a favorite spot to look out over the sanctuary. Um, honestly, right up on the fence, the most, what you might think is an obvious hiding spot, but you can miss a cat if they're right up on the fence, especially with the grass growing in. So I think they think it's fun to stalk you from right there because sometimes you glance over them. Right here, Judson is a good hiding spot. I'd say so. Well, and then of course, I'd say that I, I really do love it, but their platform is so tall that they can flatten themselves out That's on that. True. And so when they flatten themselves out, uh, they, I'm only, you know, if I'm coming to take a photo, I'm only seeing a, a set of maybe lion ears, the top of a lion head and some glaring eyes at me. So that's kind of the one that I get the biggest kick out of is that platform is so darn high that when these girls want to stalk me, they just put their belly to that platform and that gives them a great exactly. vantage point. Yeah, we have we have a little bit of a height difference, Judson. I can't see them at all when they do that. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. And then that's correct. Some people just cure asking about the wildcat wrap up is that Tammy's under the weather and she took a bye week this week and she will be back in action next week. But not missing too much this week. It's yeah. been a pretty light week here at the sanctuary. And Loretta K, that's correct. Aurora and Alana are white lions, and I would encourage you to uh, maybe go to our website and read their story. You can learn about how these white lions came to be and where they were rescued from and how we're happy to have them here in a compassionate home here at the Wildcat Sanctuary. And I guess just to give you a teaser, these two lions were rescued from the Tiger King Park. So I think that's maybe a good... Uh, indication exactly of uh, maybe some of the things you're going to learn and how thankful we are to have these types of uh, rescues here at the wildcat sanctuary i guess we're just that boring aurora and alana they both bow their heads and close their eyes we're just that boring i'll take it 
Oh, there it was. Oh, there's. There he was. He's just in the shade. It's a good hiding spot too, Gino. And mom up top, son down below. And uh, Gino. Gino is a pro napper, Olivia. <laughs> he loves. Uh, he I is mean, a I even think he's, a, he's, he's such a pro that he even almost has a, a smile on his face right now, I feel like. Well, his, his pro napping really stands out to me because of how his sleeping positions are so, they stand out. They're above the rest of the cats of the Wildcat Sanctuary. More often than not, I see him on his back with his legs spread, <laughs> belly in the air, <laughs> and Sophie doing the same. So I think it runs in the family. I think it does too. And uh, it's just, um, it just is always gives me a little bit of a belly laugh. Mr. Yes. Gino is uh, how serious you take your nap time. <laughs> Debbie Sam's here, here. I could use a nap, couldn't we all? Yeah. We're almost through the week, Debbie. Hang in there, hang in there. Lisa Harrison saying, hey, glad you caught a live. Glad to have you with us. So, so happy to do so. And isn't that right, Barbara? We are happy that uh, we were able to rescue those two gals from Tiger King Park. Jizzy asking, Judson, Olivia, what's the favorite part of your job, Olivia? Oh my goodness, what a massive question. As quickly and succinct quick, okay, as you quick, can give us. Okay, quick and succinct. Oh, well, my answer is so sappy, Judson. Okay, okay, well, I'm ready. Well, okay, the cats are going to be the favorite part of my job because since I was a very small child, I have wanted to work with animals like these. And my mother has drawings for me when I was six years old, drawing lions and tigers, and so... The cats are the best part of the job, just plain and simple. That's or maybe, or maybe you could say it's kind of the realization of a dream come true. It is the realization of a dream come true. Okay, well, you. a dream come true, and surely lots of hard work and determination well, that got you set on this path, Olivia. That's too. Nice, Judson. But you have to go quick and succinct. What's quick and succinct. My favorite part of the job is realizing that uh, that I can be a part of these cats' lives and be able to make a difference for them i think that is my favorite part of the job all right now let's and how much of a pr and how much of a privilege that is too well that's very that's ours are so sentimental i feel like we have to say <laughs> something quick and less sentimental too uh and i also love uh let's see let's see olivia i just love where we're located i was about to say being outside being in a remote location that's kind of my answer too. Yeah, I, I think uh, the fact of where the sanctuary is, where the cats are living, um, and uh, that we get to play a role in it along with the awesome people watching this post. Those are certainly, uh, I, I don't even know if I could describe them as favorite. It's, it's something that's essential and vital to, uh, and special to the Wildcat Sanctuary. Yeah. Never taken for granted. I like my coworkers. Well, there we go. <laughs> We have such a great community here. Miss Pandora says hello. Yeah, she, Speaking she of favorites, remember. you're I talking. Know. You're uh, you should be naming me and nothing but me. Exactly. You're kind of a coworker, Pandora. Yeah, we do. We yeah. got feline coworkers. Pretty girl. I'm glad we get to see Miss Pandora. Admittedly, I'd like to go over and uh, check out uh, Mr. Thor Jr. We'll make sure we're not missing any more comments and questions, Olivia. But uh, we've had ourselves a good. Uh, sanctuary stroll here. Yes. I love seeing Pandora resting in that absolutely massive fire hose hammock. And Olivia, once again, we've just uh, so graciously, we keep on being given flowers by the folks here. Uh, and uh, Daria saying, uh, well, you two are the best in the sanctuary world, as is TWS. Thank you for that, Daria. That's, that's so nice. That is high praise and then some. And uh, thank you for we that. Appreciate also, it. Olivia, people wanting proof. They want to see these pictures oh, that you've <laughs> You've been so determined oh, for so long. <laughs> well, maybe I'm actually seeing my parents this weekend. So maybe I can grab a couple pictures from my mom's scrapbooks. So I know they're in a scrapbook somewhere. Whoa. Thor Jr. says, I don't know what a scrapbook is. I know what a scratch book is. <laughs> yeah. He says, but I'm, I'll get to scratching after this nap. Yeah, though. I was about to say, he's a little sleepy there in the sun. After this nap, handsome boy. Patricia A., thank you for that. Love you both. You're amazing. So such, kind. such generous words. Sharon Osgood with 
100 stars. Thank you for that, Sharon. Looks like I'm missing out on some stars, too. Torben, you had sent uh, 200 stars. Kim Lannon sending 200 stars. Thank Kim. You. Thank you, Kim, and hope all is well, wherever you're watching from. Sissy P asking, any chance of having centerfolds in uproar? Ooh. You know, that's a good question, Sissy. You never say never, but I will admit, as uh, kind of life trudges on into the digital age, print media, like printing our uproar magazine, is getting more and more expensive. Uh, and I will admit that adding a large centerfold like that sounds expensive and could increase the cost of our Uproar magazine. So uh, certainly a good idea, but one that we will maybe have to keep in the wings. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer, but a great idea. Thor, I love you, brother, but you don't look too exciting. <laughs> he says, yeah, well, I'm pancaked out, getting some vitamin D. We'll head around the corner when known as also hanging out and that will be our conclusion you had a good stroll yeah we, we have and internet willing too it's it's been good and and uh just happy to have uh a nice coherent live with everyone absolutely and it's certainly dried up but still some kind of remnants of uh, just really some of the large rain totals we've had here at the sanctuary over the past week or so and I'm also wearing my fancy plastic gas station sunglasses, so I, I don't have the easiest time reading some comments, but I'm sure Timo and Joe, look at this, this is a beautiful Very birds pretty. here. I know that no one can probably see it, but we're all animal lovers. That's the one thing that I get excited about during these lives is being able to acknowledge a little local wildlife with... Uh, yeah. With a whole community of animal lovers. We've gotten local well, wildlife today and yeah. native plant species. Kind of fun. Yeah, very beautiful. And speaking of beautiful, beautiful holy... Beautiful wildlife. Holy buckets, tiger. Miss Pandora. Not Pandora, Pandora. Winona. I apologize. I apologize. She gave you a glare. You said <laughs> <a> glare. <laughs> If I chuff from you all the way over here, will you come and say hi? She says, I don't know. I'm pretty comfortable. Jenny Wire. That was an Oriole. Okay. Good okay. eye, Jenny. Good identification. Really good identification. Kathy Silva, you know what uh, You know what we're going through right now. You have five feline pancakes there as well at your home. Uh, and what better time, you know, to catch a cat nap when the sun's high like this. They've already had their meal for the day. Certainly just like your cats. And it is time to feline fine, Olivia. <laughs> you see. and your expressions, see if, see if we can get a better glimpse at Miss uh, Pretty Little Winona. And we will probably wrap up our post for the day. Tomorrow's Friday. Moving into the weekend. Appreciate yeah. everyone again. Memorial, Memorial Day weekend. I was about to too. say. Yeah. Yep. Uh, long, A longer weekend for everyone. And, uh, yeah, it's uh, another week of uh, people plugging in and learning more about Catio Town and how they can get involved. So we appreciate that as well. But looking forward to the weekend, Miss Winona. <laughs> and I think just like Dash Winona, the consummate stalker, I think kind of see her arms kind of spread out like that. I, I, you know, she's always, uh, excuse me, primed and ready to jump into a tiger stalk here. She is. Look at those big, beautiful teeth, Winona. Yes, yes, yes. I don't think she's moving anytime soon, though, Judson. She's, she's not. I was kind of catching up on a few comments and realizing as I glanced up at her, maybe we're not going to get a stalk here. But that's totally fine, Miss Winona. I'd rather have you keep on enjoying yourself. Olivia, I'm about to sneeze. Do you mind taking the phone? I don't mind. I don't want to. I don't want to jerk it or anything. Or you've I'm been maybe there for me in my times wipe, of need. Wipe my nose. So last Ooh. week when I had a bug go up my nose, I never mind taking the phone. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bird screenshots incoming. There we go. Faith says Faith. we'll be looking for it on the group page. The sky is pretty there. I have a pretty gray sky today, Kathy says. The sky is pretty. Very blue sky. 
We're getting a, gr a beautiful look at uh, Winona's pole. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> We're going to move. We're going to move. Miss Winona. She says, you can look at the sky now. You don't need yeah, to look at there me. There we go. Faith, nose bugs, yes, nose bugs indeed. There are quite a few bugs, but I have to say this, uh, what, what do we even call this device, Judson? Mosquito repellent fan? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little clip on, it's off, it's by the brand Off. And, okay. And it has a hand, handy dandy fan inside, I add these little cartridges in. I think I it's like been it. doing well, this I think live. so too, I think so too. So I appreciate, again, people shopping for those type of human items, which are, well, just as essential as some of the cat items we need too. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Lissa is saying that tigers have a soft spot in your heart. Us too, we have to agree. Yep, that's right. There's Winona. Hey, pretty girl. Well, cool beans, Olivia. We've, we've had ourselves a good live post. Today. We have. In lieu of... Uh, Timmy's wildcat wrap up being postponed until next week. We appreciate everyone's patience as always and with uh, you know being flexible with us and I know how certainly I look forward to those wildcat wrap ups that helps me um, kind of make sure that I'm staying as informed as I need to be for mm -hmm. our followers and and uh, so we'll look forward to that next week. Absolutely but glad we got out today glad we got to hang out with some cats Judson. All in all, a good stroll. Yeah, cool stuff. All righty, everyone. Tomorrow's Friday. We've made it to the end of a week, and uh, we look so very forward to having you on another live post with us tomorrow. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone.